I've already spoken to people uh, that prescribe a medicine. I wonder how families can help with Stump LD. Let's hear from Barbara and Michael. What do you know about Stump LD? We've heard about this from our local Learning Disability Partnership board meetings. We know it's about mental health medication that is given to people with learning disabilities. Have you experience of this? We were worried that my brother was going to be given medication as he had behaviours that his care home had concerns about. The care home didn't ask us about the behaviours and we knew nothing about this until later. We were lucky that he had some help from the Learning Disability Specialist team who were able to assess his behaviour as being the way he was communicating. He didn't like some of the things that were happening and he didn't like the way some of his staff tried to get him to do things. The team worked with the staff, gave them additional training and they had a positive behaviour plan that helped everyone know how to help my brother. It could have been different and he could have been sectioned or given medication when all he was doing was letting people know he wasn't happy about something. Thank you. Is there anything you would like to add for other carers? Not all carers are families. We need to include paid carers too. And social workers need to understand about the medication. Carers and care staff should try to avoid asking for doctors to prescribe medicine when there are other ways to help someone. Psychotropic medicine should be the last resort. So, to summarise, help by asking for a medication review for the GP or psychiatrist. Record the behaviour on a chart. Help to complete workbook or log about side effects. Use Easy Read medication leaflet. Ask for extra help for specialist learning disability services.